Hello everyone, this is the one and only Tiffany Graham and my happy for today is the opportunity that I got to have lunch with my son and his class. They are always such balls of joy. They're having a promotional party today since it is the end of the school year and they are getting ready to move to their new classes for next year and they are always so much fun and for the time that I get to be in the classroom, I'm Charles's mom, and I love that's my alter ego, Charles's mom. And I just love spending time with those kids. They're a ball of fun. Um, today is Wealth Wednesday, and in Wealth Wednesday, today we are going to talk about your spiritual wealth. And in that, we are going to be discussing the book, Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, and my take on the book and what I got out of the book. Um, so make sure that you stay tuned for Wealth Wednesday. And if you missed yesterday was Tasty Tuesday, where I made a nice tasty vegetable dish for your family to enjoy. So make sure that you check that out either on YouTube at Tiffany Graham with an EY, or you can check that out on my blog at isyourmoneyfunny.com. And make sure that you do not forget to go and click the link below after your view this video about psychocybernetics on Wealth Wednesday. So stay tuned. Now, why did I start reading this book and how did I come upon it? Well, you know, some great people that I follow, um, one by the name of Vic Streithaus and Tracy Walker, um, both who are very highly successful entrepreneurs, um, one of whom Tracy Walker, which is my mentor, um, and Vic Streithaus is a um, another member of the Great Power Network. Um, and um, if you are like me, if someone who I am striving to be like, a multimillionaire, very successful person, um, if they tell me that, hey, I read Psycho Cybernetics and it helped me to get to where I am at, I am getting the book. No questions, no commas, no whatever. I'm getting it and I'm going to read it because. Whatever that, whatever they're doing, I want to do the same thing because I want to be where they are. You know, that's a no brainer. That makes sense. Um, so I read the book and I just finished it and I loved it. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews about the book because it is pretty outdated. It is from 1960, but basically the principles in it are the same. I mean, there's just some things that are just not going to change. It's just there may be some tweaks. Um, it's new experiences based on the time. There are just some principles that are going to just be uh, everlasting. Um, and one of the things that really touched out for me on this book was the idea and the concept of your self image. And I feel like this is the biggest issue that a lot of people have with them getting to the next level. And I know me personally, my problem is looking and identifying myself with being a successful entrepreneur. Um, and what the book teaches you is how to clean out the negative thoughts and concepts of yourself and look at yourself as being your powerful person. So what does that look like? And also, I really like that it um, walk you through how to be able to um, use your imagination and how to use meditation to benefit you. Um, that's another recommendation that I encourage you guys to do. If you want to get to somewhere, um, you need to go there in your mind first. Um, that's the quickest way to do it. Um, it's like Kanye says, you know, how he meditated the house in Pompeii, you know, he might be rapping about that, but that's real stuff. Um, you need to picture yourself in your power position, in your successful moment. You want to drive a Mercedes Benz, picture yourself driving that Mercedes Benz, get yourself physically and mentally in that space. Um, that's going to move you right faster. Some people think that meditation is hokey or you know, just these weird spiritual earthy people do it. No, um, very successful people meditate because they have a vision. They know where they're going and they want to get there um, by any means possible. Um, well, so what also stuck out to me about this book was the chapter on how to unlock your personality. And what this really did for me was really open up my eyes to show me what I'm missing about myself personally. So growing up, I was a really shy kid. And the book actually touches on a lot about shyness and how being shy is a learned behavior. And no one was born to be shy or um, 
really be inhibited people, um, but there's something, some experience in our lives that made us happen, that made it happen like that, and um, made us to act like that. And it made me think about some situations when I was younger and why I started it, um, speaking really quietly and how I really started being really reserved. And now, after reading this book, it just made me want just to be as out there <laughs> and just really, you know, really speak my mind and say what I want to say. Because I feel like for so long, I've just been really closeted about some things. And now I just want to, you know, be free about a whole lot of things. And, and that's also why I love doing these videos each and every day, because it gives me an opportunity to really connect with people from all around the world and say what I want to say, whatever that is and whatever's coming onto my mind for the day. Um, so all in all, I give Cycle Cybernetics two thumbs up. Now, while it was written in the 1960s, so it's not the snazziest read that you're going to read. I mean, there's some times where I was like, yeah, you know, some parts were snoozes, but overall, the information was very solid. Um, there is included some timeless principles, um, and I really enjoyed it, and it really has helped me. I can definitely see the changes. Um, my meditation game has stepped up. Um, I feel that I'm vocalizing myself more. Um, so I'm actually now able to read it again for the second time, because the first time was just introducing me to the book itself. Now I really want to dig into the principles of the book and really um, get them ingrained into my subconscious and use them this time. So I definitely encourage each and every one of you to get the book Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. Now, if you're not big readers, because some of you, let's face it, you know, we only read it because we had to do it in school. You know, I love to read, but you know, some people don't. Um, so I also encourage you to get the audio book. Um, you can find that on, you know, Amazon, you know, wherever. Um, it's about six hours long and you can listen to while you're working out in your car, you know, whatever or have you. So just make sure that you get the information from the book into your head some way, somehow. Um, that's it, guys. This has been Wealth Wednesday.